Good morning, Blazers. We're your hosts, Alex and Cam, and this is Blazer News. Please stand for the singing of your national anthem. Please be seated. We're back with another eco quote of the week. Try to leave the earth a better place than when you arrived by American writer Sidney Sheldon. Let's all do our part to improve the earth, Blazers. Here are some tips to make every day Earth Day. Recycle and buy recycled products. Conserve water. And do not litter. Hey Blazers, it's time to check out this past art gallery about cartoons and superheroes. Take a look. Thanks for the tour, Maeve. Here's a message from Miss Nimi about a phys ed related grad award. Hey graduates, listen up. This is for you. If you've taken four phys ed credits, you have met the requirements for a healthy active living certificate. If only you have taken three, that's not a problem. If you've had three phys ed credits, in regular phys ed class or power fit or kinesiology plus an additional grade 11 or 12 course in bio, nutrition, culinary, or living and working with children and adolescents, or maybe even outside of Bay Ridge, you took a focus program related to fitness and performance or sports injuries. 
you qualify for this Healthy Active Living Certificate. Ms. Sharp sent you an email back on May 6th with the attached form. You can complete that and send it back to her by June 10th at the latest to be recognized at graduation with this Healthy Active Living Certificate. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact myself or Ms. Sharp related to this certificate. And thanks for your commitment to being healthy and active while at Bay Ridge. Stay healthy and stay safe. See you later, Blazers. Thanks, Ms. Nimi. Hey, Blazers. Did you know that a summer session co-op is a great way to combine a paid summer or school year part-time with earning elective credits towards graduation? Summer session co-op, which runs July and August, allows students to catch up on missing credits, reach ahead on future credits, or fulfill a specialty high school's major co-op credit requirements. Any interested students should email Mr. Cousin for more information. Hey graduates, please watch your limestone email for a message from Mrs. Hyatt that contains the ballot for you to vote for your class poet and your class valedictorian. All grade 12 students get one vote for these prestigious roles. The successful students will represent your class in the graduation ceremony. Now it's time for some news from the Bay Ridge Admin. Hey Blazers, your friendly admin team here with a few important messages as we approach the end of Octo 7. Octo 7 wraps up this coming Monday, May 17th. Once your marks are all in, you will receive an email that will allow you to access them online. Your Octo 8 teachers will reach out to you through your limestone email to welcome you to the class. If you feel you need to change your Octomester 8 class, you need to speak to Ms. Sharp, Mr. Pixley, or Ms. Capuchat in the student services. You can reach them by email or through the guidance appointment booking system on our website. And don't forget, Octomester 8 begins on May 19th. If you are using a textbook for your Octomester 7 course, you'll need to return it to the school front doors on Tuesday, May 18th between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. If you need to pick up a textbook for Octomester 8, you will also be able to pick up it on the same day, Tuesday, May 18th between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Grade 9s taking art next block will also need to come and pick up their art kit at that time. How do you pick up your materials? Come to school, wear a mask, and stay physically distant. We will be set up at the front doors. There will be a table on which you can leave the textbooks you are returning and another table where you will pick up your materials. And finally, Blazers, we are answering the phone at the school and picking up messages daily. If you need anything during this stay at home order, please let the school know by phoning us, leaving us a message or by emailing any staff member, your teacher, member of the admin, guidance. We are here to support you and to ensure that you're all successful with your learning. Graduates, a special message for you. Keep checking your limestone email. We are getting information from you so that we can have a super virtual graduation ceremony at the end of June. Finally, Blazers, stay home, stay safe, be well. We do miss you and we look forward to seeing some of you from a distance on Tuesday the 18th when you come up to when you come to pick up your learning materials. Bye Have Blazers, a great weekend. we miss you. Bye Blazers, Bye. take care, be safe, we do miss you. Thanks admin. Hey Cam, did you hear that Mr. Swain's grade 10 class is learning all about networking and related networking protocols? Really? I remember learning about that stuff in computers class. It was non-stop entertainment. I'm sure the students must be so excited to learn about IP addresses and routers. You bet they are. Just check out this footage from Mr. Swain's class last week. Wires. And so if you wanted to be on a network, you actually had to, you know, plug a wire into your computer and you were on the network. That actually still kind of happens at school. If we were in the computer lab right now at school, con los terroristas. They do the Harlem shit.
Wow, Mr. Swain is sure stuck in 2013. But man, can Roman dance? Dancing isn't the only creative thing that's been going on in Blazers. Miss Cameron's culinary class has been hard at work on their edible art, and they want you to take a look. Thanks for the great Octomaster Bay Ridge culinary students. You rock! Miss Cameron and Miss Cox look forward to seeing you in the kitchen next year. Next up, we have a message from our community events team. Listen up, Blazers! Hey Blazers, it's your community events team here, and we want to let you guys know that over the next couple weeks, we're going to be highlighting a few different charities. This week, we're recognizing the Maltby Center. Maltby's vision is to create possibility for change in young lives. They provide experience, high quality services, and support for the children and the youth of Kingston. For more information and to donate, visit the Maltby Center website. Also, be sure to check out the Bayard Student Council Instagram in the upcoming weeks for more charities that you can help to support. Thanks, Blazers. Bye! Thanks, team. Whew! That was a jam-packed episode of Blazer News. But before we wrap it up, it's time for us to relax and enjoy some deep thoughts. And now, Deep Thoughts by Cam Haynes. I don't like Mondays. Success is a choice, not a gift. I remember one time I had uh, woken up and was in a pretty good mood, but then I <clears throat> looked at my calendar, saw it was Monday, and I was like, God... I don't like Mondays. And this other time, I was at work, right, with some of my buddies, and they were all like, wow, Cam, you work you work so fast. You're so good at your job. Like, I wish I could be as good as you. And I was like, yeah, well, success is a choice, not a gift. And they were like, wow, that's crazy. I just, I just wish that could be me. And then I was like, I know. I am pretty successful. And then they were like, and I was like, facts. That's all for this week's Blazer News. The last semester of this school year is starting soon. Keep up the great work as you finish this Octomester and move into the next. But most importantly, don't forget to stay, stay frosty. frosty.